I'm going to talk about the this keyword in C sharp and it looks just like this. So what this is, it's basically a shortcut for an instance of a class. So here we have a class called dog and I'm creating an instance. So this can be a shortcut for this instance here. So if I look at my dog class here, it has one method called make noise. And when we call that method, it's just writing bark woof to the console window. So if we look at that now, we're calling make noise. So if I run the program, you can see it doesn't do much. So if I go inside this dog class, I can refer to this current instance when this method is being called, for example. So I go in here. If I type in this, I can refer to anything to do with this current instance which has been created here. So let's look at, at an example of that, just so I can prove it to you. I've created a class called helper. Now helper doesn't do much. It has one method called make more noise. It takes one parameter, which is of type dog, and there's the instance of the dog. So this is being passed in as a parameter to this method, and we're writing a line, I'm making more noise for dog.name. So um, if I go into my dog class here, I'm going to create a new instance of helper so I can use the class. And then I'm going to use helper.makeMoreNoise. And I want to pass in um, an instance of dog. So what I can do is pass in the keyword this, because this represents the instance which I created right here. So when we call the method on this instance, this instance, imagine it kind of being remembered here. And now this represents that very instance. So imagine this being this. So now when we call helper, we're calling the method make more noise. So this instance is being passed in. So it's come a long way. <laughs> and now we're just echoing the name of the dog, which belongs to that current instance. So if I run the program now, you can see bark woof. Now I'm making more noise for blank. Well, it's blank because we haven't given the dog a name. So let's give the dog a name. <laughs> so dog.name is, let's call him, let's call him Rocky. Why not? So now the dog has a name. Let's run it again. So now I'm making more noise for Rocky. So you can see that's the power of the keyword this. It takes the current instance and it's basically a shortcut for it. So imagine that. Imagine this being a shortcut for the current instance and we can do whatever we want with it. We can, you know, access methods, access properties, access any private fields or even pass it to different methods as parameters. So that is the power of the this keyword in C sharp. Another thing we can do with the this keyword in C sharp, here's a good example, and I see people do this a lot. If we have a constructor for a class like animal, and it takes in two parameters, for example, uh, name and age. And in our constructor, we want to construct our object. So what we do, we set our local field name to the parameter. So like this. And then we set age to the parameter as well, just like this. So now we've done that, um, we can actually use the this keyword to differentiate this instance of name. So this is the parameter from this instance of name. This is the private field. So what we can do to make it more obvious is say this. <laughs> So now this dot name refers to this one because this is the current instance of this class. So it's going to refer to this one. Same with age. This refers to the instance, which is this one right here. However, name here refers to this one because it's not in the current instance. It's being passed as a parameter. So you'll see this a lot when setting up constructors. And it just differentiates the name so there's no ambiguity. It's, it's kind of clearly obvious what's going on. So the current instance here is equal to the parameter. So you'll see this quite a lot in your future endeavors.